Hey there, it's Dennis from BC Tesla Guy. Uh, last week I installed the Ingenix Boost 50 for my 2022 Model 3 long range and it's made a huge difference. It's dropped a good half second on the 0 to 60, but I thought, hey, I wonder what it's like uh, in chill mode. Um, I've never used chill mode. I tried it out yesterday and I was like, wow, this is just unresponsive and it's, it seems really slow. When you press on the accelerator pedal, it takes some time to ramp up the speed. So I thought, hey, let's compare zero to 60 between the chill mode and the boost 50. Okay, so this is my first pass using, it's set in chill mode, zero to 60. Let's go. So you guys ready? Here we go. Right to the floor. Oh my God, this is so slow. It just seems like when you go, it, it doesn't respond right away. And then it just kind of like slowly gets going. This is pass number three in chill mode. Okay, so this is my first pass. It's now set to standard, which is the Boost 50. So let's give it a shot. Holy cow, now that takes off. Now that's totally different. I got a, what did I get? 382. Okay, so we're all ready. Pass number two, Ingenix Boost 50 compared to the chill mode. Yeah, now that's, that's what I call acceleration. Yeah, and that one was oh, a bit slower, 388. But yeah. So now let's compare chill mode versus Ingenix uh, Boost 50. Okay, so I took a look and compared the zero to 60 for chill mode versus the Ingenix Boost 50 for my 2022 model three long range. And the average zero to 60 for chill mode was 7.8 seconds, zero to 60. And with the Ingenix Boost 50, zero to 60, 3.84. The Ingenix Boost 50 is twice as fast compared to the chill mode. And so I'll just leave mine in standard. So the question is, will I be driving in chill mode? And the answer is no. I'll just leave it in standard, which gives me that boost when I need it. If I want to conserve energy, I can just accelerate less. I like to have that ability to just give a little bit more in the pedal and have more a more responsive pedal when you're driving at the same speed so if you're to drive at 30 miles per hour and stay at 30 regardless of being in chill mode or standard mode they're going to use the same amount of energy what it does limit is your acceleration